right. Venom, the final goal. Is everybody all right, Fox? You're on the course to sneak into Venom's back door. You see, he says that, but when you go on this level, there is more enemies than there is on the other one. This is a, a very well defended back door, apparently. Which doesn't really help when you're trying to sneak into it somewhere. So luckily there shouldn't be any obstacles we need to avoid. Oh dear. Aha! Did you deflect this evil flying onion ring of doom? By doing a barrel roll! I do still plan on doing um, Star Fox 64 anyway. Um, if you saw my um, preview video I made back at the start of the year, it's definitely on, it's on there, I know it is, and um, I will be doing the game um, soon. I'll probably, maybe I'll do it on my birthday or something, I don't know. Uh, it won't be long until I do it, I don't think. It's uh, not a very long game, but I, I can, I know how it, I can, uh, there's like plenty to do on it to make it worthwhile. And I forgot these guys break into multiple parts when you kill them. So that's kind of annoying. Because in, um, in uh, Star Fox 64 you got like expert mode and uh, you've got to get all of the medals on each level. That includes both um, like all of like that's just every single level on the game. It's like more levels there is on this game. You gotta get medals on the wall. And then you gotta unlock the expert mode for doing that, and then you gotta do expert mode and do the same thing, and it's, it's a lot to do in the game. I don't mind, I, I really love that game. It is possibly in my top five maybe. My top five favourite games I've ever played. Let's see a checkpoint ever. Could do some health. I'm sort of relying on checkpoints to give me health. Ooh, there's some health there. Only a tiny bit, but I forgot how short this cable is for the uh, for this controller. I, I'm like, I don't know. The cable's probably f maybe five foot long. So it's, I'm sort of hunched forward a little bit trying to play this game. So I don't end up dragging the console like all over the place. This is getting intense now. All the stuff on screen. Deflecting the onion rings. Look at this enemy. So, uh, this enemy is kind of annoying. Uh, you need to break a lot so you don't. So you don't get crushed in between. We need to at least destroy one of these so uh, it stops doing this sort of thing. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please kill this one. I always struggle with this boss for some reason. I think it's because I don't break enough. Happy, no. We've come too far for you to get taken out now. You sort of get a, a more of a feel for the characters in there. 64 as well. Because it's a bit just like, I don't know, it's just because, I guess it's because of the voices on it. And they uh, talk more than just, instead of just getting into trouble every two seconds like they do on this one. 
kind of wish there was some power-ups. It's all well and good getting some health, but I'd like twin blasters. <laughs> That's one of the things that makes me laugh sometimes. Sometimes you'll see the pilot of the ship like floating off when you blow ships. Eyes forward, folks. Don't worry, Falco. My eyes are always forward. Oh, hello, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh, dear. Ooh, it's a bomb. Enemies be gone. Yeah, you sort of have to break just before you get too close to it. It's not really all that easy though. I think you can uh, dodge to the side of it as well, but I'm not entirely sure. And... Oh! That is doing a different type of stun. Oh, and it hit me. And I think I just wasted the bomb there. Ah! I still missed that enemy. It's just ramming into me. Yay! Right, now we just gotta kill the final side of it. Oh, there we go. And it, that little ship flies off down to Venom. We won't be seeing him again, obviously. Stage six. Right, let us go. Uh, oh, that was terrible, because I was just one hand in that, because I was trying to have a drink. This level's kind of, um... I don't know what to call this level. This level's kind of difficult. I'm probably going to die. I'm having to end up using the continues. I hope not. Just make sure I get enough shots into these things before they get too close. These things will intentionally just drive into you. These guys drive worse than I do. Oh, although I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Ooh! Oh, it's a bomb. I think. Yeah. I would have preferred Twin Blasters. There shall be no enemies in front of me. Stay behind me or die. That one just killed himself. So everybody, welcome to Venom's back door. <laughs> According to uh, General Pepper, you know it's still very well guarded by the looks of things. It's like possibly even more guarded. It's probably better guarded than the front is. What's going on here? Hey, it looked like on speeder bikes. Star Wars all over again. Ouch. I'm trying to 
break so we get ahead of them. It wasn't quite working the way I wanted. Ouch. That's it, this is the box. This is uh, what escaped from us last time. And apparently the bomb didn't kill them all, which is kind of concerning. Ouch, ouch. No! No! I, you don't know how much I'm holding down the brake button right now. Uh, don't make me lose my wings before end drops. Oh, I killed it. Yes. I didn't think we killed it then. I wonder what these arrows are all about here. I'm not entirely sure. Right. So, let's go down here and see Andros. We get this cool thing again. Flying through the tunnel in an alternate camera angle sort of thing. Down here we'll find Andros again. I thought you might make it eventually. General Epic has guided you well. I don't know why I'm shooting. Ouch. Obstacle course time. Monsters. Don't mind if I do. Ouch. Uh, twin Blasters will repair your wings as well when you pick them up. However, you will not escape your life. We get a cool trippy background again. And we get Andros' big face in our face again. It's going to make that weird noise every single time we hit. <laughs> no! That sucker me in here. I don't taste very delicious. It tastes like st stuff that's not food that doesn't taste very good. It tastes like metal. I don't eat metal. That's uh, my tip of the day, everybody. Do not eat metal. It's not very nice. It's the Andros Cuboid Diamond thing again. Flying enough into the distance. It's a good attack. Oh, yeah, you have to. You have more health this time. I forgot about that. That's just bad news for us, really. Not getting me in there. Remember, children, don't go into a stranger's mouth. <laughs> there we go, he's blowing his face off again. And now we can destroy his cubey face again. Ah, gotta do him again. I'm trying to do like even amounts of damage to both of them every single time I can. So that I can uh, take him out quickly, like a second after he's done this. And then he... I hope the bombs can destroy these um, roof tiles that's thrown down the below. Come here, Andros. Let me shake that box around of yours. Oh, it's dead. It seems I have rustled his jimmies. I wonder if anyone's done that yet. Like, took that Andros cube and put that gorilla from a jimmy's cereal box on it. 
I must do that now. I must do it under Microsoft Paint. <laughs> and once again we have a happy ending. Where everybody lives. But will everybody live in level 3? This is something we'll have to find out. Soon anyway. So we will get the same ending scene again, but um, I I am going to show off the scores and then I'll show off um, the enemy credits and we'll cut it off because we've seen the credits once before already. They're not playing in formation very well, are they? Stage 2 was very bad for us. Sector X is a very bad place. Did pretty good on most of the other stages though. Got 98% on Venom. It's because we let half from pass at the start, half the enemies. Average score 96%? Not bad. Could have been better. We did better on Sector X, everything would be better. Come in, Cornelia. This is Cornelia, Pepper speaking. Congratulations on a job well done. Roger, I'm heading back to Cornelia. <laughs> that voice. It was voiceovers. Still, this was groundbreaking technology at the time with the voices I did. Had never been in a game in the same way I don't think beforehand. Or it might have been, I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I know it there was something about it that everyone was like, oh my god there's voices in this game! So once again we've got the attack carrier and the rock crusher. We've seen these guys before. But what other enemies did we see this time? So this guy was told us bye bye. He was like bye bye, and then like yeah, Professor Hanger. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. He sort of hangs on that grey thing and slides along it. But this weird squiddy birdie thingy, whatever it is, Plasma Hydra. His weapon is Plasma Spewer. Hey, that boss. That boss sucks. He hurt my feelings. He crumpled my Jonathan's. Metal Smasher. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. Crush Attack. What was this one? Galactic Rider. Air Bikers. I wasn't fucked right. I was, it's amazing how right I'm being with some of these enemies. I didn't think they were actually bikers, but I just called them bikers anyway. I called them speeder bikers. Anyway, guys, that's Andros, and, um, well, it's Andros. Dot, 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 dot. So he's done the real form. But, um, yeah, that's the end of level two. So I'm going to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you again for level three of Star Wing. Or Star Fox, whatever you want to call it.